And now with our show, Paul Richards, the screen, stream geek himself, the marketing guru wizard of PTZ Optics and Huddlecam is on the show. Paul, thank you so much. What an amazing presentation, Gary. Thanks for having me on. Excited to be here. Right here, Hello. baby. Here it is. The PTZ Optics Super Joy 899 joystick controller. This thing is incredible. And we're going to go through and show you some stuff because this thing is so even, even a, e, so amazing that even a Gary can operate it. So I want to show you guys that we have already programmed in some presets and stuff for some of these puppies. And you're going to see some cameras start to move. Now, one of the things I'm really trying to show you here is that these cameras also have the advantage of, I can operate it this way. I can zoom in my cell. I can come out. But as you can see, I'm operating all different cameras here. We've got the, the and I'm going to put the preset on. I've got to remember which one this was. There we go. There you go. As you can see in that upper corner, that's the, 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 the new tech camera which i believe is my camera too and i'm going to show you guys i'm going to operate that one a little bit so you can see it moving and going here we go and i'm just you know messing around here i'm not a professional camera operator but i did pretty good bring it back to the spot and i really love this so this is working a ptz optics camera it's working a bird dog camera it's working a new tech camera all at the same time it could be the same cameras you can mix and match if we had a panasonic camera in here it would be working in here too this is an amazing product, Paul. Kudos to you guys at $8.99. I am just blown away. Now, what I do want to stress is I have barely touched the feature set of this thing. Well, there's certainly a lot of things that you don't find in our other joysticks. And speaking of volunteers, there is a basic mode. So when you click basic mode, uh, all the advanced features are disabled. And so basic mode is great. There's also another mode Top called position. matrix Tight mode. Shot which again, listening to the customers, what we found out is that they want just a simple way to control a few presets with two or three cameras. And cool, so we've and got I pulled it in here. So mode here basic today. mode, matrix yep. mode. Now I'm gonna ask you a question, and I hate to do this to you, but I brought this up here, but there's some controls here that I'm super excited about. So right over here, I've got a bank where I can control my tilt speed up and down, my pan speed up and down, my zoom speed up and down, my focus up and down, my presets. This is amazing to me. Now, I know this is going to work great with your cameras. Is this the kind of feature that could work with other people's cameras as well? And even with your cameras, just the ability to adjust the speed of the zoom as an example. Maybe I want to come in slowly or sometimes I want to do a, a fast tilt, but I really want that pan to be more, you know, liquid and smooth. And I just love that this controller has those features. And for that reason alone, I would only use this one because I find with the PTZ cameras, it's always, you know, like I'm a little uh, Goldilocks. It's, it's always too fast, too slow, never just right. And now I can make it just right. Well, first of all, there's a lot of buttons on here, but they're all, you know, needed for to become a PTZ camera operator. And, and but I think that it's intuitive enough. The, the section that you're talking about, uh, about the speeds, you can control the tilt, the pan, the zoom, I'll give you a great example of using the tilt and the pan speed. When you're tracking somebody on a stage, you just need to follow them left and right. I mean, they're not jumping up and down. So you have the ability to turn the tilt speed down to almost zero, and then there's zero error of actually accidentally you know, going off target. So you can really nail down what you want your pan speed to be. You can reduce the tilt speed completely. One thing people like a lot is the zoom speed and uh, making sure they want it nice and slow or they want it quick. Um, we even have a, a speed for between presets, Gary, and that includes the new motion sync feature, which will allow you to sync up pan, tilt, and zoom to all end at the same time, which makes these beautiful sweeping shots a lot of our customers. And I can adjust the speed on that. Now, that's a feature only with your cameras because I know... Even that ability to adjust on that is something you guys just added recently in your latest firmware updates. That's true. So to answer your earlier question, the pan this joystick is made for PTZ optics cameras. We have built in support for Sony. 
which is really the industry-wide standard. So that works for Bird Dog. That works for New Tech. That works for, obviously, Sony and uh, many others in the industry. So I'd say you're about a 90% chance this is going to work for everything, including NDI cameras. So this supports NDI, so any NDI camera will work for as well. Awesome. Now, I know NDI is one of those things that it will work, and it will only work better over time, because we know NDI is, you're not going to hold up a product like this to get every little NDI nuance perfect. But NDI is one of those things that I fully expect maybe in a month or two to see a big firmware update with really unlocking, you know, the NDI capabilities of this joystick. Uh, one of the first things I like to say is, is this is a tactile device. So I want to feel my buttons when I hit them. I want to know they really went. I want to know when I'm adjusting a camera, I feel it. It works with the way I am as the operator that I can, you know, l let's be honest. The, the idea of this whole thing is I'm supposed to emulate what a actual cameraman would be doing. The coolest, most exciting mode for the geeks out there are the custom buttons, which you can use to switch OBS, to switch vMix, to switch a TriCaster, to start recording on an Epifan Pearl. These, there's four custom buttons, but uh, this is my super joy here. Yeah. And I also have it controlling an EPTZ camera. So, Gary, you wanted me to show this during the show because this camera is one of the PTZ Optics cameras that does not have physical pan tilt zoom. It has digital pan tilt zoom. Yep. But, it, the PT, but this uh, controller has no problem controlling this just like a PTZ camera. So this is a, one of those cool things where you can have this – a, this camera has a five-year warranty. It's only $499. And it gives you the feel of a PTZ camera operation. Now, Paul, I want, I want um, to add something. With an EPTZ camera with presets, it actually looks like I'm cutting from camera to camera shot, which is super cool. That, yeah, that's that's a good point. Let's go ahead and try that. Um, let's see. So we got set a, set a preset there. Go ahead and set one more, and we'll try that. I have, you're way ahead of me, Gary. I haven't even tried. Yep, see that? Boom. Boom. So I love this concept to think about, you know, if you want to make a performance space, you know, and mm -hmm. I can use a EPTZ camera and a controller and I can just have it's complicated this controller or a simple controller and I can have a few program presets and I can just cut a whole show and it looks like cutting, which gives an illusion that there's multiple cameras in the room. So, And what the super preset does is it allows you to control up to seven cameras at the same time plus do a scene switch. So I just wanted to show this quickly. What you're talking we about, love Willis? It. We love it. And here's why. If I click one button, Whoa. all four of those cameras move. So the way we're using this, Gary, as you can see, I have three sets. Right. So when I do a set change, move all the PTZ cameras to the new set. Everyone comes in, someone touches something. If I can hit a button and get everything back to the way I want every show to begin, mm -hmm. that alone now made this so volunteer friendly. Thank you for watching this highlight from the Video Guys Live webinar. If you like this video or you want to learn more, check out the full webinar in our description or head on over to videoguys.com for more information.